How does this turn into this? Well, keep watching and you'll find out. Hey everyone, it's M4J here and welcome back to Somerset MTR here on Minecraft. Do you ever get the feeling of deja vu? I certainly do as I stand here on the platform at Somerset Square. Uh, again, just to point out, not my station. This belongs to Master Trams with the stunning architecture and the jumping villager display that seems to be going on over there for some reason. The reason I'm over here, I've just caught the train back from Reefton Junction, which is where we uh, set things up last time out with the brand new station. I'd love to be able to be able to I'd love to be able to be able to I'd love to be able to just jump up here and show you what the station looked like but it is quite a long way away if I show you on the map we're here and Reefton Junction with all of its new awesome station buildings are over here I really love the way this looks on the map now actually uh, I do still need to populate the gardens and we do still need to finish off the island platform particularly as I nearly missed the train because I had to run from the lower level platforms to the upper platforms and it is quite a a roundabout route should we say so we might make a shortcut up uh, up this way um, and then also there's my infill station and then Reefton Waters is over there so I think when I built Reefton Waters in the description of the video I said it was the northernmost station on the loop I think actually Reefton Junction now takes the title thanks to this track just over here being most definitely further north but yeah that's another problem for another day we're back here at Somerset Place the reason we're back over here, if I walk through the ticket barrier and no doubt get charged 500. Well, I hadn't been charged, but now I have been. That's annoying. Um, the reason we're over here is because of that building right there. That is Somerset Tower or Somerset House or whatever I want to call it next week. It seems to change its name on the regular. I think here it says Guard Tower. Yeah, but that can go. Um, this is like the the origins of the whole project where we are right now you can see this is Somerset Place station which seems like such a long time ago that I built this and it also seems like such a long time ago in terms of my building skills but it remains one of my favorite stations in the city still purely because it, it actually worked really well I already had a pretty decent station building I just kitted it out with the new stuff uh, these platforms here by the way are gonna have to be a hell of a lot longer because I think it's a hundred I need that's excuse me 63 I've got hiccups now for some reason so yeah this is going to be extended into the tunnel here I think that's the best way of doing it so that it only pokes out a little bit here which does mean a slightly narrower platform down this section but I think three blocks wide is enough and we could still use doors and gates and things like that as well just to uh, to really keep the safety levels up so it's not all end of the world uh, and this turn back siding here I think is going to move over slightly as well uh, or we could even now I was gonna say something dumb I was gonna say we could add a third one in, but there's literally no point um, but yeah this is the precursor for everything to do with Somerset this is where it all began so let me give you a tour of the building here I love how you can see the station poking through as well this will all get fixed in the next couple of episodes because that's actually where we're working is around here we're doing a couple of things as that villager ran headfirst <laughs> straight into the wall what are you doing Oh, look at the spiral in the background as well. It's so cool. And there's Warehouse 14, just for context. There's King's Bridge. And there's Spawn right there, which is where you lot will all join the server if and when you join the server, of course. Patreon link in the description. <coughs> anyway, this is the, uh, the building. So if I come this way and come downstairs first. I won't ask questions. But they are going to feature heavily in this video. But I won't ask questions. Um, this part then. This is the river room. Technically. But by the end of today it might be something different. Because yeah. Things might change. Also all of this. I think is going to change. I think carpet around the outside is fine. But carpet in the middle. I'm not a huge fan of. So, uh, there's probably better ways of removing it than what I'm doing right now. But, oh, hey. See, that was a f that's what I was afraid of there. I guess the best way to remove it would be... Using our good old friend, World Edit. 
There you go. Um, but yeah, this is the river room, which <clears throat> used to have a tunnel that ran from over here, I believe, off in that direction. But now you'll see it doesn't because of that there is the tunnel that goes into Somerset Place Station. So in here, you will probably hear the trains go past, which if I had one feature that I would like to request for the MTR mod, it would be the fact that you shouldn't be able to hear trains in tunnels below you. So if I'm stood here and 10 blocks below me, there is a train, I shouldn't be able to hear it. It should be muffled by the the blocks. But yeah, I can hear it. <clears throat> and the only time it's really annoying me at the moment is when I'm over at Reefton Junction and I've been doing some bits and pieces down on my loop line platforms and I can hear the trains above. That to me just doesn't feel very realistic. But it's a really tiny nitpick in an otherwise pretty damn good mod. And like I mentioned last time, I've seen the preview of 4.0.0, uh, and yeah. Again, I feel like there were other things that could have maybe been added to it, but they're bonuses rather than necessities, which is always a good thing. Cool. So yeah, this is the lower room. I'm now going to crush all these villagers in the lift. Be cool if they actually, like, teleported into the lift. Ah, not quite. This... Oh no, look. They are actually coming out. Okay, I might just stand here for a minute and let them do their thing. Because <laughs> uh, they are all trapped. They shouldn't really be trapped. So let's just give them a second to uh, to work their way out. Well, they're not all working their way out, actually. They're all just stood here. Staring. Does anyone else feel slightly off-put by that? Oh, they haven't got trades. I think that's because they haven't got jobs. Which is something we're fixing next time, actually. This is the Somerset Place project that we're working on now. Right, you've all had your chance. Half of you haven't moved. So you can get shut in the lift now. It's a shame they can't actually use the lift. That would be cool. Just had a, a lift constantly going up and down the building. But yeah, this is the problem. So that's the ground floor. No, that's not the ground floor. Sorry, that's the first floor down there. But as you can see, there are no floors in this building at all literally no floors we're going to change that we're going to do what we did with warehouse 14 basically we're going to retrofit this building so you can see down here this is actually the ceiling of the floor below so we've got sea lanterns acting as lights which i kind of like i think we can keep that we've also got um bathrooms over here which is what this wall bit here is for we're going to keep that uh, and then we've got, you know, living space over here. I think the kitchen originally was going to be on this side with a dining room. I kind of like that too. And then a living space over here. And then a bedroom with an ensuite. That, I think, is a good plan. I think. We'll see how it looks once we're done. But yeah, my goal today is to... Where are you going? Oh, God. I can't control my flying, apparently. Oh, wait, there is an extra... Yeah, I thought there was. Oh, I flew down, didn't I? Yeah, there. This is floor two. Um, yeah, where are, where are these guys going? Excuse me, sir. Madam. I don't actually... It's wrong to assume. What, what are you doing? You're not trying to go for a ride in the lift, are you? Because that's... Uh, push me. Uh, anyway... Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Oh, you're stood... Right, okay. This is like the end of Blair Witch, isn't it? Standing in the corner, just staring. Oh, my. Okay. Well, actually, these guys are the reason I'm doing this. Because I want to provide housing for the workforce. Because, uh, you know, this city is built on the, the work of villagers. It's only fair that we give them somewhere to live. Um, that being said, this building... <clears throat> excuse me. This building is probably going to grow in the future. Uh, and it's good to get the placeholders in now. So that when we expand... Um, we basically just copy and paste the building upwards. So, yeah. We're going to start down here then. On this floor. We're going to place a floor. Which I think is just going to be bog standard oak wood. We're going to keep it nice and simple and boring. Just seeing what's down here. So this is birch, actually. Which kind of works. But we might change it. Also, I love the fact that these are actually slabs. So the lamps do stick through. It adds a bit of texture to the ceiling. I kind of like that. I think I like it to the point that we're actually going to keep it. Uh, the other thing is, I think these lanterns have been placed a set distance apart. 
but I might change it because these two here I think should be centered more like this and then you go there you go there uh, we're going to be going into a time lapse in a minute, so I'm not going to dwell too much on what's going on right now. Yeah, I like this as a better design. And then we can basically copy everything and put it up on the higher floors, which I think would work really well too. Now this, I have to be careful about. I think we can get away with it here. Um, I think the reason it looks like this is, again, because of the loop line directly underneath. So eventually we will just have to sit and listen to loop line trains running past, which is not ideal in the slightest, but it, it could be worse, let's be honest. It could be a lot worse. I was tempted in the river room actually to put windows so that you could watch the trains, but I know that's not everyone's... Like, in the real world, at least. Obviously, obviously in Minecraft, everyone loves trains. But in the real world, that's not what everyone's into. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to uh, start the time lapse now. We're going to go and build the second floor, which is directly above. I don't think I actually need to move much here right now. I'm tempted to move the lanterns to get them to line up with the windows. But I kind of like where they are. So, I think I'm going to leave them. So, we're going to run up the stairs here. We're going to head into the time lapse. Uh, you yeah, know, this is the right floor. And we're going to place the floor here. We're going to place the ceiling above. And then we're going to uh, plan out what these apartments are going to look like.
So here we are then. First apartment. Number one. You might notice a theme going on here. Um, we've gone for the orange theme in here. I think because this floor is the orange floor, we've gone for the orange theme. The flooring and the ceiling will stay the same in every room, as will these walls here. So I think they'll complement everything that we've got going on. But everything else like the bed, the desk, the kitchen even. I reckon that can all be themed. I think it'll work quite well. Um, I've gone for a mix here of jungle and acacia. So this is jungle over here, but I might swap that out. This is meant to be the TV. Just, just go with it. Pretend it's the TV. Uh, and then, yeah, the spare room in here, which does have its own little bathroom as well. Um, do you know what? I'm really tempted. This might not go down incredibly well, but... Uh, We'll just do this <clears throat> and then grab the light and this is mainly just going to be like a toilet and a sink to be honest so you can pee during the night there you go or maybe toilet sink and to be honest actually let me just do that and then do this Like this. I think this could work. I think this will uh, keep everything where it needs to. I don't know what I'm saying right now. But I think this will work. Uh, oh, that's. There we go. That's what I wanted. And then that and that. Okay. Now I can do my thinking. Uh, I can probably do my talking. So yeah, this is a good design, I feel. And we could even get the carpet here or the wall here and go along this way and then in there and kind of trace out the edges of rooms using the um totally not what I wanted to do, using the different colors of wool. And then every time we add a new floor, we can just go and swap out the the stuff using world edit, which should be relatively easy to do. And the reason I can do this is it adds a nice little touch to the rooms and it also hides the way that the walls touch the ceiling, which can be a little bit ugly. Do we do that all the way around in here as well? I suppose we should really, shouldn't we? Particularly when we've got bits like this where it just obviously doesn't fit very well. Like so. Yep. And then in here we've got this bit as well and you get the idea apologies if anyone has like dizziness and doesn't like looking up all the time um, I'm actually one of those people so uh, this isn't exactly doing me many favors and standing on the bed like that doesn't do me many favors either and the ceiling suddenly comes closer to you okie dokie so yeah this is floor one now floor number two Oh, so the reason I've actually put doors on here is hopefully this will encourage villagers to actually use this building. That's what I'd like to happen. Whether or not it does, we'll see. This is the yellow room, floor number two. And I think the way we are going to do this is by just copy and pasting the room beneath and then changing the colours. So you can see why we've got a floor on a separate level now as well, because this does look a little bit derpy. Now, the one thing that annoys me is, as well with this is I've made an L-shaped building, which looks fascinating from the outside. But on the inside, uh, it does make it a little hard to use World Edit to copy and paste things. Although, saying that, hopefully what I can do um, is copy and paste the stuff over. I've got to remember this was yellow, these windows and everything. So I've got to... Uh, Actually, no, I don't think it's as bad. I don't think it's as bad as I thought it was going to be. Although I do need to get outside, I think, to actually select stuff. Which means having to go all the way down like this. And all the way out like this. And all the way across like this. And, yeah, over to here. So the plan is, uh, we'll grab this corner here. Like so. And then this corner over here. Like so. And I think, let's just try something. Yeah. Okay. That actually is everything. That's the whole building. Oh, look. He's actually sleeping. He's a tired boy. 
Uh, does that mean that the one... Yep. Well, there you go. And you're going to go use that bed. And I guess you're going to go use this one because you live together. Maybe. Yep. That, do you know what? That is one of the quickest successes I think I've ever had in Minecraft. Fantastic. Uh, and if we dig these fellas out. Which I think they want to come out even more now. Because they know there's beds waiting for them. There you go. Come on guys. You can jump out of there. There you go. One's escaped. Um, we can get started. So. I think I've actually done this correctly. I did it as the spectrum. So it's Richard of York gave battle. And then it will keep going up. Uh, so red, orange, yellow, green, blue. So I just forgot the rhyme for a second. So we've got the orange room in. So now we need to go do the yellow room. And this is actually quite easy to do. So I can go like this. And I can go like this. And now I can just do world edit commands. So replace orange stained glass with yellow stained glass there we go and now I can do replace orange wool with yellow wool there we go and now replace orange bed with yellow bed easy. So there's a couple of other things I need to get the names of which I can do via this as so if I find out what the uh, sofa is called just yellow underscore sofa or CFM yellow underscore sofa so it would be replace uh, CFM orange underscore sofa with CFM yellow underscore sofa. Hmm, that hasn't quite done it as intended. So we'll uh, we'll fix this one manually. Also didn't copy the painting over, which is a little bit frustrating. That goes like that. Now we need to get the yellow chairs. Now we don't really have yellow chairs. This is where it kind of falls down a little bit. But I suppose we can just use like stripped birch. Just for this. Uh, like so. The table. Uh, again. Stripped birch. Why not? Everything over here. Apart from the cabinet. Can be replaced. That's easy. So storage. No wait. Storage I need. Storage. Uh, we'll go with strip birch cabinets. The fridges can pretty much all stay the same, which is good. These are kitchen drawers. There's a cooler, so we'll grab that as well. Kitchen drawer. So that, that. Grab that one anyway. That, that. Cooler. We now need to do uh, the sink. Which is right down here. Yep, yellow sink. Like that. There's also the kitchen, just generic kitchen counter. And like I said, the uh, the fridge stays as is. In here, I think everything has changed, although that hasn't really gone to plan. Which means the two in here probably haven't gone to plan. Let me just check that. Oh yeah, definitely not. Okay, there goes my idea of using world edit, but you know, it's fine. Um, get rid of that. Right, desk. We can go with the stripped birch desk here as well, and then we need the chair. Oh wait, we need to get both parts of the desk. So it's that bit and that bit, and then we need the chair, which was the stripped birch. There we go. So. Swap you for you, swap you for you, and then swap you for you. Excellent. So it's this, that, oh my, 
that's not English, is it? That's this room done. So, uh, next up is the green and then the blue, I believe. But I'm going to do all of that off camera. So here we are then. Everyone's tucked up safely in bed uh, for the most part. I think there's a couple of beds here that are empty. And we've also got some villagers hanging around outside here, which... Uh, do they know that they can go to bed? I assume so. I am wondering... The reason I put the doors on the bedrooms was so that villagers would know that these are homes and can sleep in them. But I'm wondering, because I've put doors over there now as well, would that be enough? So if I was to take off the bedroom doors, would the villagers know that they can actually go sleep in these rooms? I don't know. I also don't know if maybe they're too far away, so they can't actually detect them as beds, which is another possibility. Oh, also, um, I fitted out the, the lift shaft here so they won't fall into it anymore. And that kind of leads us on to this the facade of the building it looks a bit ugly so i wanted to try something out i wanted to go like this all the way up whoops all the way up to the top here and i wanted to say replace uh what are you you're smooth stone aren't you? you're just stone replace stone with uh let's say 10 i uh, know let's say 85% um, andesite and then wow what is that andesite and then say 5% polished andesite how does that look kind of adds a bit of character so I think if I now go and do the entire building like this, which I think the easiest way to do that would be... Actually, this is not what I wanted. I want diorite, not andesite. That's why it didn't look right. Uh, diorite. And then polished diorite. I think actually I want it the other way around. Uh, so I think I want this one to be 5%. I want this one to be, I'm going to say 80. It doesn't have to add up to 100 to work. Oh, that doesn't look better either, does it? Yeah, see, this is the tricky bit. So definitely we need a frame on these buildings. So I think the frame... If I clear my uh, my inventory a second. So if we have diorite, polished diorite, and then something darker. So if I just type in dark as an example. So we've got like dark oak, which I think I've used before. But I think that's what we used over at Reeveton Junction, but it can always get used again. Or if I type in black, so you've got polished black stone which is actually a very good option as well I kind of like the polished black stone actually so if I was to go over here let's say this corner because it's an entire building all the way up to the tippy top set black stone Bricks, no. Was it blackstone? Is it not blackstone bricks? Polished blackstone bricks. There we go. And then we can do the same thing on this wall. again this is the tunnel roof so that's as far as we can go with that uh and then maybe i mean def definitely the corners all the corners are going to be blackstone that includes these ones and then yes what do we do with with the rest i think we need windows in the stairwell here as well because it does look a bit dark 
by a bit. I mean, it looks incredibly dark. Here we are. This one. All the way down. Like so. I've got an idea for the, uh, the window ledges and stuff in a second as well. There we go. And then, uh, now this one. This could be interesting. So if I select it like this, I reckon if I come down like this and select it like this. There we go. We got it. Cool. Now, for the internal parts I also feel like um, maybe this bit all the way down as well but I uh, don't know we'll, we'll come back to that in a minute if we have to I think I want to do some experiments here though so this bit all the way down to this bit so I want to take the smooth stone here And replace it with polished diorite. I think that looks fine. Now I want to take the cobblestone and replace that with just diorite. And yeah, here's where the problems start. But I think the solution. is to take the top line of each of these and replace it with blackstone. And it just adds a little bit of flavor to this. There you go, and it creates a nice little window ledge as well for people to uh, see when they're inside. So if you look down there, it's black. Which I think looks kind of cool. Uh, and then we'll do this one and then, excuse me, sorry. Uh, it creates a nice effect, I feel. So if I look at this now, oh God, I keep flying into lampposts. It's starting to look better. I feel like there's a lot more texture that we can still add to this. And of course we haven't done this side yet. Uh, or this side in fact or yeah there's quite a lot that still needs doing but I think this is starting to look a little bit better now I almost kind of like this effect but I think it does look cool like that and we're still not done there's still going to be some other things that I'm going to add to this as well but I'm just going to go and do the rest of the building here in this style and then uh, when we come back we'll uh, we'll take a look again and see what else we can do all right, so I've been doing a bit more tinkering, a bit more tweaking and changing, and I have come up with this. It's looking all right, I think. The white and the black complement each other well. You can see I've added some extra vertical pillars now between the sets of windows. Also here, just to break up the diorite a little bit more. So I like the idea of the diorite in the bathroom and on the, the side here between the windows. On this side, I don't think, oh, there is a little strip there. But there isn't anywhere else. Now I could have in theory put one here. Also something else I noticed as I was doing this is the lift looks straight into the bedrooms here which is annoying because from the bedroom here you get a really nice view of the sunset and of the sunrise. So what I could end up doing is moving the lift onto that side of the building for the upper floors. Um, and the reason I say the upper floors is because the lower floors uh, actually it might be able to fit I was going to say I might not be able to do it because of the tunnel here. But actually that could in theory fit. We'll see. Um, I still don't know why these villagers here aren't using the beds. I have gone through. You see there I've removed the bedroom doors. So in theory they're, they're usable beds. They should be usable homes. But uh, they don't seem to be working. But the upper floors. Uh, I don't know why you're stood there like that. But the other floors um, you see the beds are in, actually in use. Which is good. Right, the last thing then is the stairwell 
um, we need to find something to do with this. I think I'm going to end up doing something similar to what we've got here, which is basically select this, and then come all the way down and select. That's for the sake of argument. Actually, no, it can't be that one. It has to be this one. Select this, and we're going to say replace stone with polished diorite. Okay, so we've got this big white block now, which is fine. We then need to um, create the roof over here, which we're going to do like this. Polished black stone bricks. Like that. Uh, we're also going to pop you there. And I think um, we are actually just going to do what we've we've done elsewhere, which is, for now at least, just fill this in. If the building expands in the future, then there will be a need to increase the size of the, uh, the, the stairwell and everything, which is fine. But for now, we're just going to do that. I'm also going to find where the stairs start, which is in fact here. And this is going to be turned into blackstone all the way down the length of the building, including the basement, which as you see here, hasn't actually been done yet. Uh, and I'm tempted to also make these bits uh, blackstone. So I think that fits in with the theme nicely as well. One thing I'm not going to do is the stairs here, the upside down stairs all the way around the outside. Uh, I'm going to leave it just in the habitable areas. So I think that will work best. But I think the polished blackstone in the walls, I am going to take all the way around the building. Just because I think it breaks it up quite nicely. So you see here, I'm going to grab this and do this. And then this one. Grab this, do this. Uh, this one, grab this, do this. And this one. And here at ground floor, which it technically is. There we are. I uh, can't reach that one right now, so I'm not going to do it. But over here, we're going to say there to there. Uh, it would be good if I could see here to here. It's definitely getting dark on the server now. Um, that's one of the good things about having it set to real time is you actually get to watch the sunset in real time. But then once the sun has set, you're stuck in the dark for ages. And I don't know if it has the seasons. That's the thing. I don't know if this game contains the seasons or not. So I don't know if it's going to get light uh, darker later in the summer or if it's always going to be this time because I record most of my videos in the evening unless it's a weekend of course because I work a full-time job and I don't want it to always be that I'm online when it's dark and I don't think there's an option to shift the time by a couple of hours just so that it would still be light when I come on to do work I don't think that's an option sadly which is kind of annoying but what can you do Right, so that's what this is going to look like from the outside. Now, one thing I did want to do was put windows in. So if I was to come along like this and go up here, if I did the middle strip, oh, it's actually replaced all of this bit as well, which I guess is actually fine. Yeah, actually, I'm not fussed about that. I think that works quite well. But this middle strip, I'm going to turn into windows. So if I did that, so it's it's two above, two below. So it's this, and then it's this. And then that should be the ceiling? No? But I'm going to do it like that anyway. So two above, which is there and two below which is there and then two above which is there and two below which is there and then if I get some glass we'll just go with um, white stained that works for this and we can pop this in 
like so. Oops. That does then lead to the question. Do we then put blackstone between... Uh, also, oh yeah, that stays empty. Do we put blackstone between the um, the windows here? I think the answer to that is yes. So this one, for example, we will put blackstone bricks in. And then this one will put blackstone bricks in. Now you can see how this building is starting to, uh, to take shape. It's a very much white versus black thing and you compare it to what this building looked like before and I actually need to go back and find uh, an old version. I think I can just use the single player version actually that I had um, left over. There we are. To show what the before and after of this is. Actually, that's not a bad idea for the thumbnail as well, but we'll see. Um, do we then carry that on? Because that lines up perfectly with the top of the lift. The temptation is definitely there to say yes. But we'll see. So I'll tell you what. I'm going to have another little think about it. I'm also going to decide if the lifts are going to move from that side of the building to this side of the building. Uh, and I'll come back in a minute. And um, hopefully we'll have a complete building on our hands. And here we are then. A complete building. Um, I'm happy. I'm very happy. It's almost quite Tudor-esque in some ways with the black and the white. I really, really like this. You may have also noticed the lift is now on this side of the building, not impeding on the tunnel, although getting fairly close. However, if I come this side, the lift is still on this side of the building as well. Slightly controversial, I admit. But the uh, the plan here at the moment, if I go back down inside the building, I can show you exactly what I've done. Um, I've moved the button panel to here. And if I hit this... We've got two lifts working off the same button panel, which is a really neat feature, actually. Uh, again, it's something that you just can't fault. It's perfect. It's realistic. It's exactly what you want in a mod like um, elevators and lifts and things like that. Still don't know why these whiners won't come inside, though. Uh, it must be too cold for them or something. I don't know. The idea is to leave this open. That was part of the design of the building. And to be honest, the, the nether brick stairs... I think I am actually going to keep and almost want to uh, incorporate into the building a little bit more. So here, for example, I've actually gone up the inside of the stairwells and added them in, um, which I think looks cool. And yeah, I think it just works with the polished brick and the nether and the um, polished diorite quite nicely. I think it just finishes it off. So yeah, this is it. This is the new building. Um, I'm trying to avoid using a name for it right now. Oh, also the floor here needs changing too. What's the floor here? Is it just um, it's just polished diorite again? Which again, it actually works kind of well. Why why change it if it if it isn't uh, in need of changing? That's a really weird way of saying if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. There's one more thing though that I will change, and that's here. Uh, polished black stone bricks and here yeah much better uh, and I might actually add the polished deer right around the edge as well I don't know right now but I like this I think this looks really cool really happy can't wait to uh, to get the, the thumbnail for this one set up I think it will look really really cool I have a plan in mind it's just whether or not it works we shall see but uh, yeah, that will do for this episode. So this is the residential block for the villagers, uh, or some of the villagers. This building may grow in the future. Uh, if it does, then obviously the color scheme will continue. So it'll probably go orange, then red again, and then, uh, not orange, sorry, purple, then red again, and then repeat. So it could end up being as tall as the spiral, although I don't think it should be, to be perfectly honest. Um, I like it like it is. I think this looks really, really cool. Uh, the bathroom section there looks good. The ensuite in the um, the spare room looks really cool as well. I like it. What's not to love? It's an incredible building, if I do say so myself. Next time, then we actually give the we have to, wow we actually have to give the villagers if I can get my words out something to do. So my plan is to completely deck out this village here with industry buildings. That they can come and work in and actually one thing i can do now 
Uh, actually, I'll do it off camera, but I'm going to go through here and check if there are any beds. And if there are, which I can see a couple here, I'm going to remove them. And that's going to force the villagers to actually go and live in this building over here. If I've done my maths right, uh, three, six, nine, there's 12 beds in that building, plus the bunkhouse, temporary bunkhouse over here. So there's plenty of beds for villagers to actually come and sleep in. It's just whether or not they choose to. There are some over here, just not a huge amount. Um, but yeah, we're actually going to give them industries to, to work in. So, you know, grindstones and all that kind of thing. So if that's your thing and you want to watch it, then be sure to hit that subscribe button now and click the bell. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you're enjoying the series so far, drop those comments down below. Let me know what you think of the buildings and the city and everything so far. Or if you have any ideas for future episodes, feel free to drop those in the comments down below as well. Uh, any interaction is good interaction as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and like I said, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you for your continued support. Enjoy, enjoy the rest of your evening. I will get my words out eventually, I'm, I'm sure of it. Uh, enjoy the rest of your evening, and until next time, I will see you soon.